Yo, 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 what it do, fellas? What it do? Y'all already know what time it is, fellas. We up in this motherfucker. You did. Had to do a pre-record today because I was busy. I'm just leaving the gym. So I'm just now doing this and uh get ready to drop it right now. And it's 11.05. About to be 12 midnight. So uh y'all already know I'll be back at you guys uh Friday, going into Friday morning for the live stream and shit. We'll definitely be there. But right now, you know, KC be busy handling this motherfucking business. So I'm gonna have to do this pre-record for you guys. You dig? Wrists, elbows, knees, feet, shin, and everything to the back of her neck, holding it down, locking it down, submerging it down to the game. Please like, share, subscribe, fellas. Please like, share, subscribe. You dig? Fair use on everything I do. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, man, um, Put everything to the back of her neck, holding it down, locking down, submerging down the game. You did. And once again, fair use. Go join my Patreon. It's up and it's lit. Got five dollar tier and the ten dollar tier popping. So get at me over there. Get at me on the um uh, and bumble just as well, fellas. And uh I said bumble. <laughs> Thinking about the motherfucking date night. Rumble. Go get at me and rumble just as well, fellas. And um uh, get me up to five subscribers or better. And um uh, get me up to five subscribers and better. We can Go bring some of that uncensored type of shit over there. You know, that kind of material, fellas. You already know that YouTube just ain't accepted. Get at me in the Gmail just as well. Fair use on everything I do. Once again, fair use on everything I do. Like, share, subscribe, and enjoy the show. We're going to get off into this. Now, is he tripping? I mean, is he wrong or is he tripping out? I mean, is now is he wrong or is she tripping out? That's what I mean to say. They, they they cohabitat, they stay together. He paid the bills, she paid the bills or whatnot. However, she found the condom in their apartment. And by her, the motherfucking phone, I left that motherfucker over there on the charge. This motherfucker. Six yeah, I got my other phone over there. It's a crazy motherfucker, man. <laughs> you dig? But um, like I was saying, fellas, uh, just getting in from the gym like a motherfucking man, you know, sweating off, man. But you, like, I let's get back to it, fellas. Uh, yeah, I'll be getting caught up in shit, thinking about shit, motherfuckers texting me, bitches, you know, some other shit, man. But they go back together, they stay together. She found the condom in the place, so she's looking at it like, hell, you cheating, you fucking with women or whatnot. But they cohabitat, fellas. They stay together. They both paying the bills, they both paying the rent or whatnot. So. Uh, how would you fellas handle this? And let's get ready to go with the comment with the content and come back with my commentary. Let's go. I love how you can literally make it seem like I'm the one in the wrong, but you're in the fucking wrong. Yeah. I know. I mean leave it anyway. It doesn't matter. You brought a fucking girl in our apartment. Yeah. Our apartment. Yeah. That I pay the rent for. I pay the rent too. You pay my car off. No, I pay the fucking rent too. Okay. My thing is this. Now, what was established? Did you guys agree on how things are going to be set up? Did you guys agree on, you know, Company wise, or who's coming over, who's you know, who can't come over, or whatnot. How is this set up? Me, KC, personally, I'm sorry, Phil. That's why I like my own sanctuary, that's why I like my own space, my own domain. I must add, you dig? It's because I get to do what the fuck I want without having to hear a motherfucker's mouth, a motherfucker bitching and complaining on who the fuck I bring over. Into my fold. I don't fuck around, fellas. I'm sorry. I got to have my own space because of things like this. And I know guys like, no, okay, see, but they go together. You know, wouldn't that be cheating? And he's bringing in, and it's how you look at it, me personally. I look at it like, no. Like I said, cheating is if you're lying to the bitch or if she's lying to you. And y'all agreed to have a relationship and someone's being manipulative and deceiving shit. So, Oh, that's a part of cheating to me. Now, you actually having fun outside of her 
you having a life outside of her. You making things happen with other women ain't really cheating. You know what I'm saying? And like I said, I don't know if he let her know what type of guy he was or how he get down. But it's best to always do those things, fellas, or you would not deal with shit like this. I'm not about to have nobody screaming, yelling at me, trying to little boy me because I'm living my life. I live my life how the fuck I want to live my life, and that's what it is, bro. I'm a grown-ass man. I'm an adult. That's why it's best, fellas, to let these women know what it is and what you're ahead of because you could have easily came – he could have easily came back to no – Shoes, clothing, and all his belongings would have been burnt the fuck up on some old waiting to hell type shit. He could have easily came back with her, you know, hiding somewhere. And we don't advocate to, you know, human beings, animals, and all that type of shit. We don't, we don't do that here on the channel, but yeah, we know what it is. She could have been waiting off into the side or behind the door in the closet with a motherfucking butcher knife or a gun or something, ready to bring his ass down, ready to take his life. Because she's feeling like he's been deceptive and being manipulative. He's coming over and bringing bitches over here and he's not being upfront and honest with me. Fellas, that's why it's best to let these chicks know what it is. Unless you that low life, um, insecure, need validation and need attention type of motherfucker to where you will purposely make your bitch mad so you can get her off into her feelings. You'll purposely do shit like this. You'll purposely withhold information that you calling this your woman just to see in her feelings. I don't fuck around like that. I don't. That's whole shit. I don't like the drama. I like to sleep comfortable at night. You dig? And what what it, where that motherfucker? At? Uh, what must I add? I like to sleep comfortable at night. You dig? That's just what it is. You know, besides my remotes, ride a yammer on the side of the bed or whatnot. Do my thing. You know, chilling and shit. You know, chicks coming over. How they, they, they. You know, they moving in and out. That's how I like it, fellas. I do not like the problems, so I always keep it one hundred and I always be upfront, candid, honest, and everything up under that. And the reason why is because I respect myself. I'm not inferior to a goddamn woman. She doesn't scare me. She doesn't move me. Who moves me is me, and that's just how I go. And I advise you guys to be the same way if you want the respect that you feel like or that you think or that you know that you deserve. You dig? Let's get back to it. Do not bring anyone into my apartment. Yeah. Ain't no motherfucking yeah. And I ain't bringing anybody. I'm going to bring them where the fuck I want to bring them. That's my business. You stay the fuck on your side, I stay on my side. That's just what it is. But if this is his girl, and she don't bring anyone into my apartment, so it's obvious that he's staying with her. He didn't He didn't contest it. He didn't, hey, hold on, hold on, hold up. No, we broke our name on this list, and it's my shit. Just, he didn't do that. So he's inviting trouble into his life. And he might be going in on a rent. He might be paying his little half or whatever on 50 50 ass type of bullshit. Ain't no telling. But you're inviting trouble into your life by being, bringing a chick over and you fucking with these chicks in your chick's apartment. I got to be up front and let them know what it is, fellas, because you never know what kind of treat you might get behind that. You know, she might fall in line and may want to get down with you and, get, you know, you an old girly girl that you got sliding around. But you will not know these things, fellas, if you're a lying, manipulative, un, 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 manipulative untrustworthy motherfucker. A woman going to see you like her. She's going to say, oh, he's feminine. He's a bitch just like me. A man expect women to lie, Right. Yeah, I mean, you know, they don't, you know, women don't be wanting to hurt your feelings, you know. In some cases, they don't want a motherfucker going upside their head and all type of shit. So they're going to they're gonna fall into that inferior spot. But if you doing it, falling into that spot to where you got to lie to her and make put her on top and make her feel superior, man, and you feminine to me. I'm sorry. There's no way around it, fellas. Let them know what the fuck it is. Do what you got to do and keep moving. And if she ain't with it, then she's not with it. That's just what it is. And I know guys and women, oh, he's just saying he don't, he just careless. He don't give a fuck. He, oh, I hate his kind. I don't like the, I mean, hey, listen here, baby. 
you'd rather accept a motherfucker being honest with you than a motherfucker beating it around the bush and you not respecting. But then again, some bitches like guys like that. So they can purposely disrespect them, right? I love a, a motherfucking dude who beats it around the bush and, and lie to me and not keep it real. So I can keep my foot on his neck. That's how some of these women think, fellas. Hell. But you're going to get honesty from me, baby, whether you like it or not, or you can keep walking. That's real shit. But we're going to move on to this um next video, fellas. Y'all already know what time it is. They'll go to the extent for some money, fellas. Oh, they'll fight your bitch. They'll fight your moms. They'll break in. They'll do all type. They'll, 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 they'll commit um, uh, what they uh, grand larceny, all type of shit. Uh, home invasions. Them bitches will do all type of shit to try to get to it, bro. They don't give a fuck, bro. And it is what it is. And this right here is going to speak for itself. Man, I got the hair up and I'm sweaty and shit, man. Shit, just leaving, man. I'm about to get this shit done and hop in the shower, man. But um, let's get to it, man. Let's go. The best sex told you to come over tonight. He going to give you some money and everything. But it's a 65% chance his girl might come home and she can fight. Are you still going or no? I'm risking it hopping out the window. Fuck you talking about? I'm going. I'm from Philly. You know I'm flying. I'm from Philly. You know I'm sliding. You know I'm getting my rat hood rat um. You know, um, uh, uh, fuck up the uh, Asian stores and then steal wigs and all that. I'm getting all that on bonnet and all on my motherfucking head. These bitches don't give a fuck, man. They don't care, man. They don't give a fuck about your relationship. And, and you know what? Your girl who you with right now, she knows that. She know these bitches right here is on the loose. They don't give a fuck. He's tricking. He's the bag. Hell yeah, I'm going to go over there and I'm going to fight her motherfucking dude. I mean, I'm going to fight I'm gonna fight his motherfucking bitch. And we're going to tear this motherfucker up because he invited me here. It's obvious he want to pay me, right? So we're going to make that happen. I'm about to go and fuck up everything. They don't give a fuck, bro. So why do y'all? I don't get it. And these are the same bitches that wants to get wiped up and want to get taken serious. And she's going to find some simps that give a fuck. There's no goddamn way. Let's go. I'm still going. I'm flying there. First of all, I'm going because I know how to fight too. Fuck you talking about. I know how to fight too. I'm going. I'm a Shit, damn. That bitch is right there. I don't know if that was Buster Douglas or a real motherfucking bitch. I don't have to Buster Douglas in a wig. I know how to fight too. Damn. These bitches is aggressive, masculine. They don't. I'm telling you, man. This is the. This is the. Bro, this is the era of women that we're dealing with, fellas. I'm sorry. They don't give a fuck. They will cause ruckus. They will bring everything down that you got going on, fellas. I'm telling you. So if you got someone that's cooperative and you got someone that's along the line of um, fitting into your program and this and she aligns with that, fellas, you want to pretty much stick with that because this, this type of shit is out here. You know, you don't want to. You ain't KC. You ain't built for this shit. I'm built for all this shit. You know what I'm saying? I know me. I'm not taking none of this shit serious. Running through them, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I'm throat checking them and shit with the piss knife. Yeah, I do it all, fellas. I, I definitely get it in, but I'm, ne I'm not going to take them serious because I know what type of chicks these are. These are chicks right here that will slander you, lie on you, uh, put uh, LGB type of, LGBT all type of rumors on you and all type of shit. You know, like old girl, you know what I'm saying, that was sitting up in that... Uh, so uh what's she talking about she licked up uh uh ASAP Rockies and uh little baby she uh tossed a salad and shit. Man, what's the name of that podcast? So I just seen it. Uh fuck, I just seen it. Matter of fact, I think I got that video sent to me. I gotta pull, I gotta um go and check it out, do my downloads and shit, see if I got it sent to me. But the chick say she um, you know, straight masculine with it, man, straight putting them dudes' business out there. These them chicks. And if oh boy quit fucking, whoever he is tricking, giving them the bag so they can come on over and, you know, they fighting the woman and all that shit. Soon he quit fucking with him, they're going to air him out. They're going to put cases on him. They're going to say he, 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 he's with the hay community and they're going to they gonna do all type of shit to him, man. And these are the type of bitches we're dealing with, fellas. No, because I know how I fight too. I'm going to worry about that dick. I'm hitting that bitch with my car. 
word. How much money? Well, I've been in that predicament already. I'm going to still go. Oh, oh, 2500 2500 I'm taking that risk, and I'm a, I'm a boxer the fuck up. <laughs> Bitch, I'm going for the money. Why would I stay home? I'm there. Like, what? Where the money at? I'm going to go beat that bitch up and take his money. I'm going to go and box her the fuck up. And still suck his dick for the back. Wow. Shit. Bitches going to go humiliate themselves for two months worth of rent. $2,500 in, in today's time with the inflation. Shit, that's like shit. One bedrooms and now I'm, good. I'm glad I own, man. Because hey, there's some bullshit out here, bro. One bedrooms are going for what? Like $1,500, two grand? A studio is probably shit a thousand, and y'all about to go and huh and risk your freedom and possibly your livelihood. You go over there, what if you go over there looking to fight the chick and his chick come out with a yammer and start blapping at all? You I mean come on, man? You bitches don't think for shit. They don't think, fellas. So why try to uplift, educate, influence these kind of women, man? Keep them motherfuckers down, man. Keep your foot on them, man. They in the sewer. Keep them in the motherfucking sewer, bro. Keep the sewage top on top of that bitch. And keep them up under there with the turtles and Splinter and every motherfucker else that hides out them nasty-ass sewers. Uh, Jason goes in Manhattan when he was in the sewers getting washed away. Keep them bitches down there with all them motherfuckers. That's those kind. These are the gutter rat type of bitches, bro. And that's what it is, bro. Avoid them, fellas, if you can. If you can. And I know that, you know, I know that ghetto ass be talking, man. They be talking to us, man. We be trying, we be want to break that motherfucker. I know that. I know how it is, fellas. But, you know, if you if they got, if they sell two condoms that come in one, buy that motherfucker, nigga. Wrap yourself all the way up and run after you done. Don't even think about elevating no bitch like this into your life. None of them. Look at this horse mouth bitch. Don't do it. Not at all. Fuck nah. Nigga shit. You crazy as a motherfucker, bro. Facts. And I'm about this bitch, man. Come over here and holler at me. Like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you can be alerted on these videos, fellas. Go fuck with me on Patreon. Go get me up to five subscribers or better on Rumble. You did get at me in the cash app. The Gmail, everything up there. Fair use on everything I do. And I'm about this motherfucker. I gotta go hit the shower, y'all.